In the previous video, we saw how to deploy a JavaScript web resource to a entity form. In this video, we are going to look at how to debug a JavaScript web resource. So now you've written the JavaScript code and you found out that the code is not getting executed correctly. So you need to debug. So uh, let's take a look at how we can debug JavaScript code in Dynamics. So there are two options. Let's go and look at the web resource first. So um, you can look at the web resource from here in the form itself or you can go to um, the default solution and access the web resource from here by searching it from here so either ways you can do it you can also like edit it in both the places okay so i'm just going to edit it directly from the form so even though you edit it directly in the form it will still go ahead and update the the web resource in the server itself okay so one of the ways with which you can uh, debug is by adding a debugger statement what this will do is using developer tools you can just step through the code so let's take a look at what happens when we do this click ok ok save the change and publish minimize this in order for your uh, changes for javascript to kick in immediately i suggest doing function f12 first and then doing an empty cache and hard reload This will immediately kick in your JavaScript changes to your server. Sometimes due to cache issues, like the changes will not, the latest up version of the code will not get updated on the server. So doing an empty cache and hard reload will just take care of that. So once you've done function F12, just right click on the refresh icon and just click on empty cache and hard reload. Okay. So now we have added a debugger statement to our to our um, check phone number function so let's see what happens when we trigger it so now we have written the debugger statement and now we need to hit that debugger statement so to hit that debugger statement we need to trigger that function and uh, the function which we wrote is triggered by saving the record so um, to do that just give a name for the account and uh, open up the developer tools before uh, saving the record to do that just click once on the form anywhere on the form and uh, click on function f12 i'm sorry uh, press function f12 have it at the elements tab and now click on save or rather uh, if you have a different function trigger that particular function so I'm saving the record so there you go it will now hit the debugger statement and now to step through the code all you can do is you can just click on this button called step over next function call and that will just go to the next line next line etc so the help of debugger is it will um, show you the local values it will show you the values for this particular record so over here the phone is null so if you hover through this it will display the value of that particular variable which is which is null because it's reading the value of telephone one which is null so uh, if I step through this it will hit that it will say that the uh, phone number is null it will uh, it's triggering that code so um, 
that alert box is showing up. Click OK. Now it will set that value of uh, 456789124. And that's it. So uh, now if you just go ahead and click on that play button, it will now save that record. So just click on ignore and save. Close it now and allow the action to complete. So yeah, there you go. So uh, this is the sample use of the debugger statement. The other way which you can do is you can uh, write some console log statements. So to do that, just open up the form and uh, go to that JavaScript web resource. Now I'm just going to remove the debugger since we've already shown what is the use of that. Now uh, the console logs are similar to the uh, tracing statements in our uh, login debugging. So it will just display the messages which are getting uh, if if the code is passing through that console log it will just print that message in your uh, console tab of the developer tools so i'm just going to say enter function and then um, i just want to say Retrieved phone number. To read the local variables, just do comma, then the local variable. So comma for some code. And I'm just going to uh, add a console log over here saying. Pass the condition phone number is not close. I'm just going to save this and publish it. So now it's published. Let's go ahead and test it out. So again, uh, let's do an empty cache and hard reload first. Have the developer tools open. And now let's uh, trigger that function. So I'm just going to create a new record. And um, have the console log, console tab open in the developer tools. And clear the log first. So to do that, just click on this icon, clear console. So this will uh, help you in reading the logs more easily. So I'm just going to say test console log. And I want to save the record. So there you go. It displayed the console logs in the console tab of the developer tools. So if you can see it is uh, displaying the local value of uh, the variable phone in that code, which is null for this case. So yeah, um, this is how uh, we use console logs for debugging. Thank you very much for joining this course on web resources. I hope this course was helpful to you. If you have any questions on web resources or any other dynamic CRM related topic, feel free to reach out to me at nrajinkarnat.ahabs.com. Thank you.